I got some chocolate. Chocolate's good. Um. All right, let's go. Um, I don't know, Trent. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it. I'm we happy for you, to be honest. Like, the Nova. That eight months of hype. Thank you for that. One more month to the Twitch, baby. But I mean, right, so we're, well, not to to walk away from the topic we had today. <laughs> but I mean. The more and more time that I try to play We Happy Few, the more I'm like, this just isn't fun anymore. And you know, at first I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suffer through it for the sake of the story. I know. And the more, like now that I know that there's no big reveal, it's just, uh, it, it's uh, the joy guys, baby. I'm kind of like, oh, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like it was secretly like Arthur's dad's baby or some weird drama or anything. Or, you know, Arthur's, or, or a, um, you know, a science baby. It was just, oh yeah, it was this dude that I was banging, and I had a kid, and uh, I gotta get out, or he'll probably experiment on it. I'm just kind of like, oh. So, basically, what it what it comes down to is, you know, it's, I, I don't know. I'm just not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it. And I'd much rather do something like, you know, upload an hour of this. Or upload a uh, Monster Hunter GU hunt or something. And I mean, especially like moving on, end of the week, you know, we got Spider Man is coming out at the end of the week. This just came out. We got Tomb Raider like in a week from now. Like, there's just, there's other games that are just better. And it's like, I, you know, basically, I just can't bring myself to keep trudging through We Happy Few at this point. Like, Arthur's story I liked, but... Sally's story really started to weigh on me. Chauncer, we know whose baby it is. They told us in the last episode. I mean, I don't think they had to leave it as a survival thing. I think I, I liked... I, I liked the changes to it. I just, in particular, I didn't like, um... I didn't like Sally's story. How it's like... You know, at first, like, you're, all right, so you have the baby mechanic. And, you know, I get it. I get why it's there. But... Like, up until that point, it was like, you know... You gotta eat, and you gotta sleep every now and then. And you gotta drink water. And you know, those are your responsibilities. If you do them, you get a little bit of a buff. If you don't do them, you have a little bit less stamina or you can't run as far. But you know, small incentive. And then they're like, alright, now on top of that, there's a bunch of extra shit you gotta do. You gotta go, you gotta find a filter and you gotta filter the water. And at least every eight hours you're gonna go and you're gonna give that baby milk. And then because you gave it milk, you know it's gonna shit. So you better go around and find some cloth and change its fucking nappy. Did we mention that there's no fast travel next to your house and you have to travel to this place and then run for like four minutes to get to your house and then go back to what you were doing and then come back an hour later and sprint back to your house again? It was just like, uh, it's too much like just shit, you know? And it really, really slowed and and kind of destroyed the pacing of it. Like, Arthur's story, I was enjoying a lot. And Arthur's story, I was like, man, this is fucked up. Man, this is fucked up. But anyway, enough bitching about We Happy Few. Let's enjoy the capital city. No, Jack, this is my footrest. I haven't seen the Sekiro demo. Maybe I'll take care of that tomorrow since so many people keep asking. Bob's your uncle. Just remember, they shut gates as soon as the king is asleep, you know. Okay. 
Bright and early, you say. In that case, beer. It's what I'm here for. I'm here for beer. And I haven't been before. It's time for beer. for a while. I don't want to pay you money to sleep here. I'll sleep in the city. Amelia's in a pickle. Any quest to rescue a kitty cat is a quest that I'll do. It's daytime. What about the... Oh, this kid's still here. Alright, um... Which roof is the cat stuck on, though? What's happening, girl? Yeah, I'm about to give you a nice... cool breeze. Question is which which because there's so many roofs around here. Here we go, this looks promising. You guys see the cat? see it on the map. Nearby quests. On the rooftops, find a way to get up there. Oh, this is just where the quest giver is at. Rooftop, little guy. Found the clues. Well, they haven't given me any clues. All I know is that there's a cat that's stuck on the roof. I'm guessing it's this roof. But to get. gonna get this dog, we're gonna turn it into a cat, and we'll give it back to the kid and call it a day. You won't even know the difference.
Let me go talk to the kid and see if the camera orients in a particular direction. Stuck on the roof. She won't come down. Please, mister. She's stuck on the roof. You have to get her down. Alright, so if the kid's crying here... I would think it's either that roof... Or that roof... Or, like, the church roof. Y'all see a cat? I don't see this cat. I see no cat on this roof. see ladder get inside this building and I saw a ladder Kitty litter. Oh boy. Doing the quests that matter. strategist. I'm guessing I can probably find a book on them when I'm up in the capital. But this looks like a shop for armor and weapons, so let me go check this out. Uh, let's try out weapons first. I'm more of a damage fan. I don't know if I'll find anything better than my greatsword. Copper sword, copper chopper. Oh, no, it will. It is... I mean, I don't think it's going to be worth it, though. That's literally all of my gold for a three damage increase. No thanks. What does my stuff have on it? Isn't, doesn't my stuff have, like, some... Yeah. Yeah, because this doesn't just have defense. This has 33 max health. That's that's a lot. Max health is huge. 33 max health and 19 defense. Whereas his thing... No, oh, no, 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 no. His thing just has... 11 defense. So, every, anything in here is going to be trash, because the effective HP is less, and you consider the health loss. I call them just walking in people's houses, like, yeah, I'm here to find a book. Just going to check in your cabinets for a book. Just taking some gold coins, don't mind me, just full on... Skyriming now. What? 
wow, guys. This man had a moonlit bulb in his house. Let's go back on our way. Fuck his pumpkin. What else do you have in your house, dickhead? I'm here to steal and pillage. Is this your pot? Because fuck you. It's mine now. <laughs> Around here we don't go barging into people's houses without so much as a buy or leave. Oh, you know what? Well, where I'm from, I don't like people getting snippy with me because I am the goddamn reincarnation of the luminary. Go in here and bang your wife. Fine. I'll go out here instead. I'll fucking break your pots. How about that, asshole? Yeah, I see your gold coins, too. No gold coins are safe from me, Cowboy the Great House Thief. Can I jump this gap? I wonder if the NPC will ever be like, that's it, guards, and they'll be like, and then the police will get called, and it'll be a little mini game where I gotta run away from the police. to that room. <laughs> Looks like what I need. Oh, no, not what I need? Really? I can't. That's not the book I want. Somewhere around town, there's a different house that I can walk into that probably has a book. Nothing down here to steal? That's rare. Oh, I found a Camaro wing. I just bought one of them. Whatever. Blacksmith abroad. Just sitting there like, I'm having fun! Very, very edgy of you, Wes. Hello, little ghost thingy. Any metal.
check inside the church. Nope. Surprises me how western this game feels. Is this, uh, what's his name's house? Let's run around the city, see if there's any more houses we can break into. Don't look like it. Um, ooh, there's some houses all past the church. Up in central. Spider-Man only gonna have 20-hour stories to do a walkthrough? Yeah. 20-hour stories are perfect for a walkthrough. I mean, it's like 40 episodes and it's done. Well, probably less than that, because the walkthrough will be super concise. It'll probably be about 30 episodes to knock the whole thing out. Don't mind me, I'm just here stealing things in your cover. Fishnet stockings, ooh. I'll sell these back to you for money. <laughs> yeah. Got what we got. Ah, nice. No, we can't open this. And yes, I got the book. Fuck your pots. I'm taking your book. Dazzling shilling. I didn't even get the book, I just had to read it for him. Out of my way, children. I'm here to break into the rich people's houses. Hey, <laughs> boy. Let's go get some goodies here, I'm sure. What you got? Money, 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 money. A set of plain clothes? What? what kind of mansion is this? She's got plain clothes. Jeez, look at her. Fucking absolute unit. I might stream a little bit of Spider Man. We'll see. And they're hiding their gold coins in the bucket. Thinking that we won't notice. But little did they know, I search every nook and cranny. For this rich person's skinny. Shan't be long. Visitors! I took it to work! Man, people just leaving their treasure chests out. Thanks for the gold coins. Alright, let's go to the kingdom. Halt! 
Not so fast. State your business. I'm sure that's gonna go over well. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Oh. What's that? You wanna show that pendant to the king, you say? Wait in here a minute. Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Man, if I get kidnapped and thrown in jail, I swear to God. I have the mark. Why is there a dark night and then a light night? Father, it's me. I have been gone for years. That will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. The Jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? What do you think? Now, Bad king, good king. Finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. I take it that you also bear the mark? <laughs> yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt, you are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary, Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. I see. Cobblestone, you say. Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Mm, why does it sound like they're gonna kill everyone in the village, man? Hmm, <laughs> I take it you know exactly what to do with this village of fucking nobodies. Yes, my liege. When this guy just just reeks of douchebag, you can you can sense it. Mm-mm. I don't like where this is going. 
cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. This cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Fucking called it, man. Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Well, guess what, dipshit? Uh, if the luminary's already here, so is the Dark One. Do you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? Oh my god. It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Come in. people, man. Seize this wretch! Fucking people. Why? Why? Why can't there just be one game where the king isn't a dickhead to you? It does look like Dr. Jiro. Man, you're such a big guy putting your hands on like a 16 year old boy. Some big strong man you are. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Dark Spawn? Hmm. Well, fuck your pots. Well, if that's a fire pit or a shit pot. Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir crazy. This is this is anime kid, right? Is it anime kid? What are you in for, yep, anyhow? Definitely anime you kid. You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. Wait. You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. Kung Fu Anime Punch! Taking the keys and breaking out. Serious? So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. We'd better get out of here.
Wait here. Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking up anytime soon. Things will get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Yeah. Me? I got this little beauty back, so now I'm pretty much unstoppable. We better get out of here before any more of our tin headed friends come knocking. Hollow when you're ready to move out, okay? I think this is a dual wield dude. Dual wield ninja guy. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I guess I should go. Wait, was there a treasure chest behind him? I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Anyway. There'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. <laughs> Get in my hole. There. Oh, it's just the guy knocked out. Huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. I don't know about marathon, but we're gonna we're gonna go for a good amount. Auto saving, nice. Okay, equipment. Never do a sewers escape prison thing without being reminded of Final Fantasy XII. There they are! You lot, over here! Huh? Damn it! We better make ourselves scarce. Fight! Oh no, they found us! XP I get for Who that. Else wants some? Eight and six. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Are 
these people are fucking blind, I swear. <laughs> I mean, I guess if all they have are like a little slit like this to look through, it would be a lot harder to see what the hell's going on around you. Into the water we go. Guys, don't give up, do they? Seriously? You okay? Looks like we shook the guards, at least. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Save real fast. That's a fucking dragon. Prison cell more. If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. Dragon looks so good. I mean, what do, you, which, what do you want, dude? Do you want to jump or do you want to do the dragon? Here goes nothing. You got much of a choice here. Right? <sighs> I think we gave it the slip. Definitely did not. I was just going to jump down. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely did not. Uh, I spoke too soon. Did I not run fast enough? Oh god. Yes! Cleveland Battle! <laughs> not even gonna try and fight that thing. What the 
fuck are the slimes doing here? Get out of my way! I love how all the other monsters are like, fuck this. Metal slimes, those are good XP. If I'm being chased by a dragon, I can't fight them right now. Let me know. Can't fit in here. Gotta throw his How's tail in and wiggle it around, probably. Watch. What's that thing doing under the castle, anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. You gotta be kidding me, really? These guys again? Uh, me and my big mouth. Uh. <laughs> oh, looks like our luck finally ran out. Just gotta fight him. There they are. We've got them now. Let's start, start hmm. rock climbing. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> hmm. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. <sighs> Come on, let's not do anything stupid now. Anime hair. The name's Eric, by the way. <laughs> Luminary power. Damn. Just now made it to the intro movie. After two hours. It's just the opening movie. I played this for you guys earlier. You guys want to watch the opening movie again? I don't. I don't think we need to watch it again. Character designer, Akira Toriyama. Stop saying rip off of Dragon Ball Z. That is why everything looks like it's Dragon Ball Z. Christ, people. Oh. <sighs> 
right. Wake up, lazy bones. Come on, up you get. Wait, we're in a church? That means we died and we were resurrected. No, we're not in a church. Finally! I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was! I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. All right, a hero hounded. So, now that we've made it this far, once again, gonna take a mini break to grab another drink. I'm thinking like every, every hour, you know, grab like something to drink, get up and stretch. That's, that's a good process for the long haul. So either way, be right back and then we will continue.